Hello YouTube. Just uh, going to show you a quick video of the way how I fit a PL259 onto some coax. This is RG58 coax. Uh, nothing too special about it. Not low loss or anything. Just standard coax. Just making this little patch lead up for my car. Uh, first of all, get your coax like that. That doesn't have to be that long. I'm just doing it because it makes it slightly easier. Uh, don't forget to have your little bit there uh, because you need that so it uh, doesn't earth out on your on your plug. Thread both of them through your PL259. Of course, don't forget to slide that down your coax first and get it the right way around. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you'll be cursing a lot because you have to unsolder your plug again. Yeah, so f thread that up onto there like that. Try and get it so that it threads through one of the holes. Like so. And at the same time, you can't really see it. Ah, you can't see it. At the same time, push the coax through so it comes out here as well. Your center cuts comes out here. As you can see, what you've got now is you've got your screen coming out the coax and your center going straight through with no chance of it crossing over inside the plug. As you can see there. Now, this is the way I always prefer to do my, uh, my coax like this. And it's just a simple case of cutting this down and soldering it. Ah, it's so hard to get it on the camera. And soldering it into here. It doesn't have to be massively soldered on, just a bit. And uh, yeah, that's the that's the way how I do my uh, do my coax. Of course, you solder that off there, and then you just trim the wires off. Uh, nice simple way of doing it. Well, simple-ish. Normally what people do is they just bring the coax back and have it sticking out the back here. Uh, so it's not really connected to the plug, it's just, uh, you know, just just screwed onto the onto the coax, so to speak. But I prefer to have everything soldered onto mine, so it, uh, it makes it a bit better. If I get my soldering iron, it's all tangled up here with all sorts on the floor naturally. There we go. I find solder which is becoming a rare thing now in my room. I need to get some more. I've only got that much left. And I get through this stuff. And this soldering iron is great because all you do is you find a big heavy tool. I've got a big heavy tool. And you just rest it on the switch. Balance it on the switch. Failure. Like that. It goes over there. Solder the inner one first to make it a little easier. So it holds everything all in. Get it all nice and hot so you get a good connection. There you go, like that. All well and good. And the hard part, because you've got to try and get the plug heated up. This can be quite difficult to do. But it's well worth you doing it, especially if the connection you want is permanent. You it is difficult to do. Lucky for me, I've got my light. If you can see that, guys. With lots of crocodile clips on it. And they're on there for a reason. Because what the crocodile clips do is they pull on the wire to keep it tight while you can solder it. Unless, of course, you knock your, your thing off, your switch. And uh, it's a very poor setup, isn't it, this? Normally I don't use a pair of pliers on the switch, I, I normally use something a bit better. 
but it's a simple case of just heating up the plug, the wire and everything else to get a good connection. Even with this iron it takes a while. Sometimes I do cheat and use a blowtorch. I've got a really nice small blowtorch and that, that does it really quick. But when it goes it goes well. And you solder it on. Oops. <laughs> Sorry you can't really see it guys. I've not got anything to stand my camera on. What about that? Is that any better? Oh there you go, that's a bit better. It's getting a bit hot now, so let's see if it will melt onto it. There we go, that's soldered on. And if I can get the light right, there you have it, nicely soldered on. And all you do now with this excess is you just cut it off, that bit there, and just cut it off in there. I don't know if I've got my cutters on me or not, no, I've left these in there. The creaky noise is my chair, honest. IKEA chair, I need to tighten it all up, but it's all come loose. I haven't got any decent cutters, so I'm having to use a, a knife, a flimsy one at that. I'm using a, uh, a glass plate of all things to do my cutting on. They get all nice and neat. Like that. Try not to put too much solder on, otherwise you can't screw the end on. Yeah, screw the uh, screw thingy on. And that is a perfect PL259. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching.